So in this one, now we're going to learn that other SQL interview question. So in this, now our problem statement is that we have given that one value or any string. Now we need to find it out how many times that if any of that letter uh, we wanted to search, how many times it's present in there. So now we try to search it A. So for the India letter, I'm searching A. So I'm printing it here, letter A as well. A small or capital anything. Then I'm printing that count of letter. How many times that letter is present? So in India, one time, so it's one. Japan, two times. Then display two. So similarly, it's going to South Africa and United States. It's going to display. So now we will move to SQL Server and try to understand it. So this is the table structure, what we saw in there. So now, second question came, how we can do that? So to understand this one now, first thing what we need to do, we need to find it out what letter we need to search and then we need to loop into this one, each individuals. So one by one, we need to do compare and then we need to increase that count. Okay. So as we know that uh, recursive CTE, I explained in other videos as well. So recursive CTE, what it's going to do? First time it will give that India. So let me run this one. So first time it will give India and then remaining will be that I will be first letter it's gone. Then NDIA will be there. Then it's going to again use that NDIA and then it will be give that DIA and then IA and then A and then it's going to work like this one and that whatever we will get from here that remaining that will be input for that other select statement where we calling that CTE. So this will work as a recursive city and it will do loop for each of them and then it will uh, get that count of all those things. So now what I try to do, first I try to print that value, whatever in our original. Then I'm converting, convert and taking that left of one as a letter. The first letter, what is coming, it's going to commit here. Then right of this one and remaining value minus length of one. So I'm doing right of this, then it's going to copy from this, whatever value we have from there. So it's going to do like this one. So now we're getting that remaining one. So, and when we get all those things, whenever we checking that where all letter equals to A. So we got that letter equals to J, U, S and all those things. So this will give us all those, uh, those many rows where till that point it's loop, it's not going to complete. So it will give all those rows. So later after this, I will go and compare where all A is there only work for those and then count that and then do that count of that letters and then I'm doing group by value and letter. So for each of them, it will count and then it will display that how many counts is there. If I go ahead and execute this one. So we see now we got that exact count, how many it's need to display. So suppose in place of A, if I go and try to search for S, and then we will see is that we're going to get that correct or not. So see, we got only those records where S is there. So if we suppose if I go and try to search for the X. So now we'll get it blank because S is not there. So now I hope you understand how to find that total number of uh, time, how many times that letter is called by using that recursive city. Thank you.